Hey Libra, what's going on beloved? Welcome to be at MHP where we are getting ready to build up this foundation of your relationship, kind of see what's going on at the foundation. We'll get out two tarot decks and we'll use my Divine Masculine Real Talk Oracle, kind of um, dig in deep and see what's really going on with this connection. So, beloved, what's going on with uh, the Libras? What does Libra need to know regarding their connection, please? What does Libra need to know? But she said she's just a friend. But she said he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. <laughs> you got what I. <laughs> but she said he's. Okay, so somebody told somebody that either you were just a friend or this mature man was just a friend. I don't know why I'm picking that up right away. Young female and then twin flames. Mm, mm, mm. So let me get this straight. Okay, somebody came in this connection with somebody else already on deck, but this ended up being a twin flame connection. Somebody is like this. And phew, and every time you guys get together, it's like, this twin flame connection shit is crazy. I don't know who made it up. <laughs> but but I'm over it. Where them soulmates at? Soulmates holla at me. <laughs> For real. So, um, this could have started off as, a, as a, a friend, became more than a friend, of course, with this twin flame energy. But... I mean, overall, the foundation is good. You know, it's one couple. You know, one set of people. It's not a whole bunch of people. Y'all yeah, could have um, met through friends or something like that. Or um, mutual acquaintances or something like that. But some was definitely older and some was definitely younger. I never understood young girls that like your old men. I'm just saying. That's just not never been cute for me personally. But sometimes you're looking for financial stability uh some of them are just looking to have daddy issues and they looking for that father figure you know we just never know either way so we got the silver waterfall oh snap the distorted masculine know whoever this is don't been through some stuff and chivalry so the more you give the more this person run away okay or vice versa. Whoever is given to this relationship, trying to be all nice, trying to be all sweet. This person is distorted. This person got so much stuff going on and low vibrational. They're not awakened to the connection. And it just seems someone swinging. Like that um, In Condition song. You send me swinging. Oh, you send me swinging. Don't worry, you guys. In a minute, these cars will clear up. You'll be able to see them um, visibly. But let's see what's going on at the foundation of, I mean, I'm sorry, on the surface of this connection. But yeah, somebody keep trying to, like, as soon as somebody heal here, somebody come back. It's that pull-push energy. Mm -hmm. I'm opting I'm opting out for a soulmate. Yep. Because every time. And then I'm like, am I that damn sensitive or emotional? Because I swear my twin is, oh... MG and I just look and be like I, I know that's not me I know I know it's not me <laughs> oh but then I think about it yeah that's me I'm sensitive at times so you guys got victory uh, see what I'm saying see what I'm saying every time this person walks away Okay, every time this person walks away or you walk away, here they come. Thinking you're going to have victory. Then it happens again. Walk away, come back. Walk away, come back. It's this never-ending cycle of stuff. And people be like, yeah, I've been on this twin flame journey um, 15 years. Why? <laughs> Why would anyone want to waste 15 years of their life by somebody else living their life? No, no, no. Mm -mm. I waited for some time, but um, my twin, he's just something else most of the time. You know, I try to tell people, you think it's easy. It's, it's definitely not no 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 joke, that twin flame journey. Don't People be like, oh, I want to meet my twin. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. 
Like every time there's union, it's like, I don't know. I be thinking like it's an energy that pulls us apart. And it, it is. It's that twin flame energy. As soon as you get close, it's like, Pachoo. you know, it's almost like that movie. Um, What's that movie with Will Smith in it? Um, uh, Hancock. I swear that's what it feels more like to me. That people should just stay away and go off and meet a soulmate. <laughs> Oh, but when when he's good, he's good. He just got on my nerves. But yeah. But either way, let's go ahead and see what's crowned the reading. Oh, there we go. Your twin flame energy, renewal, rebirth. Okay. So every time it dies, it, it, it revamps. It dies. It revamps. It dies. Revamps. It's a cycle. So, um, Libra, for your, um, for your masculine, I'm going to use this energy. And for the f feminine, and I'm saying that because it is a twin flame connection. Ooh, let's use this one. Yeah. I'm going to use this one for the feminine energy. But, um, beloved, what's going on with Libra? How's Libra feeling about their person, their twin flame? <laughs> Miles will call it how you see it. How's Libra feeling about their twin flame, please? Ooh la la. What? Libra, ooh la la. What is this ooh la la energy? Ooh la la. Mm. Alrighty. So the um six of swords. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling <laughs> It's horrible. It's horrible. That's that twin flame shit. You can't even leave without having a problem. It's like, uh, it's a storm. I got to turn back on around. As soon as you turn back around, the sun come out and everything. It's like, damn, try to leave again. Here's another storm. It's, a, it's crazy, Libra. It's crazy. Let's see what's up. What's up with Libra's person? How's Libra person feel about Libra, please? Oh, no wonder you talking about ooh la la. <laughs> King of Wands. So you could be dealing with the Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius or something. But you talking about some ooh la la because you're dealing with the King of Wands, Libra. Either way, you got the sun. Or they got the sun, rather. Um, temperance. The Ten of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the world. You have, oh my goodness, there you are, the King of Swords, yourself. You ain't playing no games, Libra. The Queen of Pentacles. The em Libra, let me find out. The Emperor, the Five of Cups. The king of pentacles and death. You know what, Libra? You know what? Ooh, la la, my ass. Libra, who's all these people? You got four people in a six card spread. Who are all these people, Libra? Because I see you crowning your own reading. But then you got the queen of Pent pentacles and the empress. Is this somebody's wife? Is this somebody else? Because the five of the five of cups precedes that with the King of Pentacles, and I'm that's how I'm going to look at it, Libra. Like maybe you got involved with somebody that was married to somebody else, because you got a Queen and King of Pentacles, right? Oh wow! <coughs> this person could threaten to do something to you if you told on them, or if you said something to their wife or their fiance or their girlfriend. Or something, but I definitely see there was an ending here. You got the death card, they got the world, they have sitting, they having their cake and eating it too. But what's interesting about it, Libra, is I don't know. This person seemed, like I said, very distorted. They got other things going on in their life. I'm sorry, but their primary focus right now is not a relationship. They got the sun, the temperance, the ten of wands, the eight of pentacles, the nine of wands in the world. They got some bigger stuff that uh, fish is to fry. This person this person could be dealing with like um some type of mental illness. This person could be bipolar, schizophrenic, or they could be like, um, 
or they could be um like narcissistic or something something wrong with and with their headspace or something like that they might have people to watch over them or something like that and that's just a side note from somebody but i feel like this person really got a lot of shit going on in their life and it could be dealing with their financial situation or something like that that this person's trying to keep them from getting their money or something like that libra this person got some other stuff going on beloved this is why you're not hearing from this person this person got a whole another something let's go ahead and get into my no one <laughs> this deck is right on time for your person let's see what the hell this person got going on so we're going to use my divine masculine real talk oracles and see what's really going on with this masculine energy over here what's going on with this masculine energy over here beloved what's going on with this masculine energy That Chingy song is still playing. Is that Chingy? Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. Telling me I need you in my life. You could be a Virgo, Libra, cuss. If you're a Virgo, Libra, cuss, watch that video. But, um, I'm sorry, watch the Virgo video. What does Libra need to know about this masculine, please? Thank you. Thank you, beloved. Oh, my goodness. This mask is like, you just trying to get all in my business? Hold on, let me shuffle that one more time. They trying to hide something. Hold on. Mm -mm. Let's see what they trying to hide. Drug abuse. <laughs> this person using drugs, is that why something wrong with their mind right now? They are coming up as the store to mask in. So, of course, there could be drug abuse issues. And they broke. Who else had a broke per person? Um, um, Leo. So, you could be dealing with the Leo with that King of Wands energy, that ooh la la. This person fine, but this person ain't, it, it, only fine in, in the nighttime because daytime is going to be like, where, where, can, it, where the pop at? Where the bread at? Can you um take me shopping? And they're going to be like, oh, I can't. And then they got the bitch in their energy. Who is the bitch? Is this... This this card says the bitch. This ain't they bitch. This just a bitch that... <laughs> just be around them. They bitch is in here. And that ain't her. Here go they bitch right here. Okay? And then they got the femme right here. So I don't know who the bitch is. But it's a bitch in their energy. Okay. Then you got abandoned child, a karmic, and hugging the block. Is that why they worry about their financial situation? Because there's an abandoned child that may be causing them. This could be why they broke. Because that child support don't kick in. And that's probably why. Who is this bitch? Who is the bitch? Ready fuck, high as fuck. Brothers. Missing my bitch and sex now. Hold on. How did I know? I knew this was the storyline. So they, they, they met somebody. They probably was high or whatnot. And they was looking for somebody to, you know, uh, dibble and dive in. Oops. <laughs> they was looking for somebody to dibble and dive in. Because they was missing. They bitch. Whether that's you, Libra, or whoever that is, right? But the crazy part about it is, they didn't. They wasn't the only one that hit. <laughs> they were not the only one that hit. And what was crazy is uh, a baby came out the situation from um, them not being able to keep their stuff to themselves. They wanted it then. They wanted it now. So now they got this bitch energy in their energy. This baby mama keeping their ass broke, but they don't abandon their child because they don't like the bitch. Okay? That's why her name is the bitch. So that's also why this karmic energy is coming out. This is not the divine feminine. This is a karmic. Oh, no. This person could have gave this person a disease or something like that. But yeah, they broke, and this is the, they broke, so they hugging a the block because they trying to make their ass some money. This person ain't got no job. Uh, who you messing with, Libra? <laughs> who you messing with, Libra? Okay, let me go ahead and get some 
more um energy on the board what else does libra need to know about this person and what's crazy about the bitch is, is why do i feel like she set this person up on purpose i feel like this is why this person was like mad as hell like i can't believe i got old girl pregnant brother talking about him and shit. bro oh now i understand that card now I understand why that car came out. Bro, you ain't use no condom. <laughs> oh my goodness. But firecracker. Yep. Excitement. That's what the hell happened. When it, this person got too excited. Next. An emotionally secure loving family member. An emotionally secure loving family member is important to you. This person ain't left in that chest, Libra. Please don't tell me you mess with somebody, still stay at home or stay with somebody, uh, Libra. Because it says a, a, a emotionally secure, loving family member is important to you. Then remember their brother came out. So I know they not like the younger brother and they trying to follow behind their brother footsteps or something. And then stepping into a new new experience. This person better go sit down because they definitely don't step into this baby mama who got finna give their ass hell. Okay? Ooh wee. What else does um does Libra need to know, please? A dealing or relationship with a man. So this is definitely a masculine energy, of course, that's coming up. What else? What else, beloved? I guess. It looks like change is going to come. All right. So a mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. And yeah, that change gonna come as stubborn as they wanna be. Once child support start hitting them pockets, you ain't gonna have no um choice but to change. Thank goodness this person ain't got no court cases or nothing like that. Cause damn, then it's really gonna like you not only gonna be broke, but then you gonna have court cases. Like your life just gonna be fucked up for you. Oh no! And then a younger man dealing a relationship with a younger man, Libra. This better not be you, cause it's a man here, and I don't know if this could be considered a younger man. I'm gonna say it's the bitch that it was the brother and the younger brother. But things will not always be those way. Change is coming, yup, and change is coming for this person. Mm, mm, mm. That's what's going on with that person, Libra. That person got a whole nother situation going on outside of you. You might be like, oh, why are they acting like that? Hey, you even got nothing to do with you, Libra. Let's see. What else Libra needs to know about this person? What else does Libra need to know about this person? What else does Libra need to know about this person? Why do I hear this karmic wish they was in your shoes? That's crazy. This person don't go sit their ass down. And there you are showing up as the Empress in your own re Libra. But um You did you know you was done with a prostitute a hoe? This person can make you sick. Cause as soon as this car came out, I felt kinda sick to my stomach. <coughs> Excuse me, Libra. Oh my goodness. But this person liked it because they don't have their heart broke. They might be hiding that something happened to them in the past or some type of energy of someone that um, treated them badly in the past. They probably had to defend themselves. I don't want to get into that energy because that's going into a whole nother place or whatnot. But it could have been something that happened when they were younger and they vowed that they would never um, be vulnerable like that why do i feel like the cycle gonna repeat with this abandoned child card this person could have been abandoned child could have been a foster care foster home live with their grandmama or your granddaddy or something but it's definitely a change coming because beloved is get, getting ready to bring it to pass so this cycle whatever they was doing whatever they was in this person getting ready to have that you know what spiritual awakening that's right spiritual awakening that's what usually happens when life changed. When the twin flame on popped up, here come these life changes. Okay, so um, let me get one message for Libra. We'll go ahead and close out the reading. What's the message for Libra, please? Huh. Libra, chill. 
the fuck out and breathe the fuck in. Take a deep breath, beloved. It's not you. This person got other stuff going on in their life, beloved. They ain't got nothing to do with you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Take care.